Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And we are back in wonderful France and we are heading down to the Alps. So we thought we'd take the time while we're travelling down to take you through some of the different kinds of airs that you might come across when you travel through France. In one of our previous videos, we showed you um, a stay that we had at an English air in Shropshire. So we thought while we're driving down to France, we'd take the time just to have a look at some of the kinds of airs that you've come across in France, because that's where the idea came from for the English air. One of the great things about airs in France is that there are so many of them that you can afford to be really flexible. So yesterday we were targeting to get about 350 miles under our belt and stay somewhere just south of Troyes. However, I was feeling really good, which is bizarre. It doesn't normally happen when I'm driving. So we pushed on a little bit further and we spent the night here in bourg en bresse just outside this wonderful royal abbey and we were in the company of lots of other vans at a beautiful little air provided by the local community. So we arrived here at about half six last night. It was pitch black, but the monastery was lit up and it was absolutely beautiful. The car park is really well lit up, which actually gave us a sense of safety. Um, we are in the heart of the city. There are, as you will probably notice behind us, cars going up and down the road. It is essentially a car park, but it was really quiet last night and there were lots of other vans and I like the safety in numbers. Yeah, and it's a really simple, no frills air. There are no facilities here. There's, there's no flot blur, there's no water, there's no toilets. You just get what you see, but it is free. So we had a really nice night last night. We parked up, we went for a bit of a wander to get our steps in and then called off at a local bar for a little beer because you do feel a little bit guilty about stopping the, these communities and not putting money back in. And like a lot of the French airs, you are not allowed to get any of your equipment out. So you'll notice the vans behind us. It's just a, basically a car park and you stay there for the night. And on this particular one, I think it's got a limit of only being able to stay for 24 hours. So people do move on and it doesn't get clogged up, which is great. And for us, it was an ideal opportunity. It was the end of a long day of driving. We've had a, a really good night's sleep and we are now about 150 miles from the Alps. So what we plan to do is to drop into various different airs on our way to show you the difference between where we've stayed tonight and some of the other opportunities that are widespread across France. So we're sat at a motorway services air now at the moment. In theory, you could stop here. Um, it's very convenient. It's literally like the British motorway services. You pull off and you could stay for the night. But we have heard horror tales about people being robbed. When we arrived at the campsite in Bourg Saint Maurice in January, there was a English gentleman with his son. They'd stopped at a service air similar to this and they woke up in the middle of the night with someone trying to get into the van, which really scared me. Um, I wouldn't stay here. It's really busy. It's really noisy. I don't feel particularly safe. Um, so it's a no for us for this type of air. 
So this is just a typical motorway air that you get all over France, based around the auto routes. These that don't actually have a service station, but they have toilets, they've got loads of parking, they've got loads of picnic spaces. They are really handy for stopping off and resting and having a bite to eat. But in terms of staying here overnight, we've never used them to stay overnight. I know some people choose to. Um, I guess it's from back in the day, there was lots of bad press about um, travelers being robbed and things like that at places like this. So we've never chosen to, to stay at it overnight. So we're at a tiny little rural air now. It's completely free to stay here. It is in the middle of nowhere between Annecy and Elberville. There are absolutely no facilities whatsoever and it is grass. We tried to stay here last time we came down and it was just a bog. Tonight we're actually staying further down the valley anyway, but we just thought we'd show you another kind of air that there is. So we have just pulled up in the air just outside Annecy and this is a typical city air. You don't have to pay, so it is free. There are 10 parking bays, but you can probably see it's pretty tightly packed. It does have a bit of a flop blur station so you can dump your grey waste and I think you can get water, but it looks a little bit dilapidated. The benefit is that even though it's tightly packed, it's really close to the town centre. So in a minute, we're gonna have a, a wander down to the lake and then across into the town. Because we haven't got facilities in our van, it's not really the sort of place that we would look to stay. We don't like how confined it is, but I suppose if you're turning up late and you're leaving early and you're spending most of the day wandering the town, then you don't need a lot of space. Morning. Morning. So it's Saturday morning, we're in Borg San Maurice finally and we're about to go skiing but before we go we've shown you some of the different kinds of airs that we've come across on our journey down. There are lots of different types, there are lots of different sizes um, and these are just some that we've come across. Yeah France is such a massive place and as a driver don't underestimate that. I am absolutely rubbish, I cannot do super long distances so I need to break up the journeys and the airs are just a quick cheap and easy way of doing that and you can go with the flow so you know you just have to start searching when you start feeling a little bit tired on the roads and you can always find somewhere to stay in France. 
Yeah, we tend to look for airs that are maybe in smaller villages, maybe between five and ten minutes off the main toll roads, because we do use the toll roads if we've got a long journey. At Christmas, we found the most amazing little air that was just right by the river. We did nearly get flooded out because it was during the storms, but it was just so gorgeous and peaceful, and the people in the villages are really welcoming. And we sort of make that conscious decision, don't we, to, to get off the auto routes, because we do know that people stay in the various areas that are surrounding the auto routes but it's amazing as Jackie says mm. what you can find within about five or ten minutes off the auto route it's a bit of a break uh, you find these quiet little villages and they are just stunning so the main way we find the airs is through two apps. First of all, Park for the Night. Most airs are on there. Um, it's a free app. You can, there is a paid version, so you don't have all the adverts, and it's a little bit easier to search for things, but we haven't paid for it. And the other way is through Camping ASCII. If you've got a Camping ASCII card, you can have the app as well. And we've paid a little bit extra for the Motorhomes version that includes all the airs as well. And between those two apps, there are literally thousands of airs across France. So if you're going to be navigating across France at any time of year, summer or winter, then we would absolutely advocate the use of uh, airs. One of the things we are conscious about is if we have a weird feeling about a place or we're a little bit uneasy, we just move on. Yeah, we've pulled up a couple where we've just looked around and gone, oh, it's a bit dark and there's lots of cars zooming around and people pulling up every so often. And we've just thought, no, not for us. And we have just moved on. And there is always somewhere to move on. So don't feel that you're stuck to something that you've initially found. And the apps that I mentioned, they don't actually just work in France. Um, we've not particularly used the airs in many of the other European countries, but there is a huge variety there as well. So that's it from us. We're going to get going and get skiing and hopefully have a, a nice quiet day on the slopes because it's a Saturday and it's changeover day. See you later. Bye.